Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, let us praise and worship the Lord for this day, and let us give all honor and adoration to the Lord, our mighty King. Let us clap our hands and join the choir to praise and thank the Lord. The King eternal, unto the reigning King, unto the Lord Almighty, praises I will sing to the King eternal, sing to the King of kings, sing to the King of glory, let His praises ring. Unto the King eternal, unto the reigning King, unto the Lord Almighty, praises I will sing to the King eternal, sing to the King of kings. Hallelujah, 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 just close our eyes for a moment. Keep the hands close to your heart. We ask the Holy Spirit, our Holy Spirit, be with us, guide us. Holy Spirit, we need your help. The Word of God says, All those who are led by the Spirit are children of God. If you are to be the children of God, we have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Let us invoke, invoke the Spirit to come and empower us. Let's pray. Send your Spirit, our Holy Spirit, oh Lord our God. Send your Spirit. We are thirsting for the Holy Spirit. We earnestly desire to have the Holy Spirit with us. Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come. Anoint us, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Anoint us, Holy Spirit. Fill us with the love of Jesus. Oh, Lord, Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, Mother Mary, we invoke your intercession. Be with us to help us. Let us say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed are you, thou among us women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Father. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and ever shall be the world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today, many people complain that we do not have an increase of faith. Many people complain that. The spiritual activities are boring for us. Especially the young generation today, they always complain. It is boring. We are not interested. It is true that most of us are very much tired of prayer. We become very tired. If you watch a movie for two hours, three hours, you don't feel that tiredness. If you go for an entertainment program, you don't feel the tiredness. Why the reason? Why it happens? 
the brothers and sisters the reason is that our mind and hearts are filled with the worldly things in the first john chapter 2 verse 15 saint john exhorts like this first john chapter 2 verse 15 do not love the world do not love the world or the things in the world for the things in this world if anyone loves the world love for the father is not in him hallelujah, hallelujah. the word of god says you do not love this world or also the things of this world because if a person who loves the world that person cannot enjoy the spiritual love of the father our god and the rest for all that is in the world for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes the lust of the eyes and the pride of life and the pride of life is not of the father is not of the father but is of the world but is of the world hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. and this is the reason why the saint john exhorts do not love the world or things of this world if a person who loves the world a person who is so much attached to the worldly things he can never or she can never enjoy the love of god hallelujah 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 and dear brothers and sisters today when we we are very much immersed and we are very much given importance in our life priority in our life to the worldly things in the letter to romans chapter 12 verse 2 letter to romans chapter 12 verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world don't live in conformation with this world let us listen to that do not be conformed to this world do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind by but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may prove what is the will of god that you may prove what is the will of god what is good and acceptable what is good and acceptable and perfect and perfect hallelujah 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 in other words if you are conformed to this world what happens you will never be able to know the will of the father hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. therefore the word of god says very clearly if you have yeah, the spirit of the world in you you will never be able to pray and such a person i tell you dear friends if you are a person who is not feeling so much or you are if you are a person who feels disinterest in prayer if you don't feel like reading the word of god if you don't like praying the rosary if you don't like going to the retreat be sure the spirit of the world is in you because in the second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 and 4 correctly and clearly affirms this fact and even if our gospel is veiled it is veiled only to those who are perishing in their case the god of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel hallelujah the word of god correctly and clearly says the word the god of this world has blinded them so as they are unable to hear the word of god or unable to see the light of god praise the lord praise hallelujah hallelujah they were in the letter to james letter of james chapter 4 verse 4 the word of god says oh my dear children oh unfaithful children don't you know the friendship with the world is an enmity with god hallelujah hallelujah james chapter 4 verse 4 unfaithful creatures do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with god hallelujah 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 is calling oh unfaithful people don't you know that uh, the friendship with the world is an enmity with god a person cannot step into two boats at the very same time hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. again in the first corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 says an unspiritual man is deprived of receiving the spirit of god the unspiritual man doesn't receive the gifts of the spirit of god see an unspiritual man cannot receive the gifts of the spirit of god for they are folly to because him because for them it is folly for them 
and he is not able to understand and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned so, hallelujah. hallelujah 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 a person who moves according to the worldly standard and who is moved by the worldly spirit will never be able to understand the value of spiritual duties they will never be able to know the value of spiritual activities they will never be able to know the meaning of going to the church going to reading the word of god going for retreats they will never be able to understand because they are to be spiritually discerned hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. and for such people first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 says a person who is going to the standards of this world for them the way of the cross is foolishness hallelujah hallelujah first corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 reads like this for the word of the cross is holy to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of god hallelujah hallelujah to those who are perishing those who go according to the standard of this world for them the brothers and sisters it is foolishness going to the spiritual activities is foolishness but for us who know christ who know that it is valuable it is the power of god Hallelujah. 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 So there therefore my dear brothers and sisters today as we are here as we listen this word of God let us recall to our mind how much spirit of the world has crept in, into our my my heart. Therefore my dear brothers and sisters the word of God says get transformed. Get transformed by the spirit of the Lord. And that is the reason why when Jesus was talking to his uh, uh, disciples Jesus said dear brothers and sisters word of god said this holy spirit cannot be received by the this the people of this world we see in the gospel of saint john chapter 14 verse 17 even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him hallelujah the spirit cannot be seen the holy spirit cannot be seen or understand understood by the world the worldly values cannot see that praise the lord praise hallelujah him. hallelujah therefore jesus is warning them jesus is warning the apostles in the gospel of saint john 15 18 onwards word of god says jesus tell them very clearly if the world hates you don't be worried because the world has ha- hated me even before that hallelujah hallelujah the gospel of saint john chapter 15 was 18 If the world hates you know that it has hated me before it hated you then the rest if you were of the world if you were of the world the world would love its own the world would love you as its own but because you are not of the world but because you are not of the world but i chose you out of the world and i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, just because you are a spiritual person, the world may hate you. Say hallelujah. 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 Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel of St. John, chapter 17, and we see Jesus is praying in this way. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. But you should keep them from the evil ones that is jesus prayer and today as we are praying my dear brothers and sisters we should we are in the world we have to use the things of this world but be sure never be a slave to the things of this world let's stand up please close your eyes if possible o oh lord today we pray unless and until we are filled with the holy spirit we cannot become your children if we want to be filled with the holy spirit we want ourselves to get out of the spirit of this world a oh lord today we are living in a world where people are so much attracted to the worldly things worldly pleasures and such people are unable to understand and see the light of the gospel they are not able to pray and today if i am unable to pray the reason is because i do not have the spirit of god in me in abundance 
i am filled my heart is filled with worldly things worldly standards and i am not able to give priority to you lord jesus send your holy spirit send your holy spirit send your spirit jesus oh lord aga oh lord send your spirit God so that we may be able to pray to the Lord and be filled with the Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah shia ra 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 let all the worldly spirits be gone in Jesus name let the hearts be relieved of all the worldly standards and worldly attractions in Jesus name we pray hallelujah 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 praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. remember the friendship with the world is an enmity with god praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah as we are preparing ourselves for this benediction let us sing and praise the lord and worship him as the lord and our god jesus we enthrone you we proclaim you are surrender our selves especially our families our lord in all the families wherever you put your you stepped in all the families were blessed today in a very special way we dedicate our parents we submit to you all the families who are suffering from lot of division who cannot pray together who cannot sit together our lord life partner cannot accept the other one Oh Lord there are so many houses where the family prayers are not at all done today we surrender all the families Lord be the master of our families oh Lord help our dear and near ones especially all those people who are at the verge of divorce Lord help them it is you who have united them let us surrender all the parents Let us surrender all the families to Jesus and let Jesus be their 
mediator let us praise and worship the lord hallelujah 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 oh jesus we praise and adore you oh jesus in jesus name let all the brokenness of the family be gone in jesus name oh lord let every family be blessed in your name let there be family prayer in every family and let the pair the couples may be united in prayer and love hallelujah 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 this promise divine oh lord we are the family of god oh jesus we are his promise Blessed be his holy name blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man blessed be the name of Jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed, blessed be her glorious assumption blessed, blessed be the, the name of, of Jesus Mary, virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph her most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints